Good evening from the Kingdom of Balance. This is Princess of Balance here with Day 175 of going through the bundle for racial justice and equality. Today we'll be, like every other time, looking at three games from the bundle for racial justice. I do this stream every Monday and Wednesday to showcase three games. Today's games are Murray's Room by Kenny uh, Gulame. Gulam? Gul Long? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, game number 524, Satan Loves Cake by Baku. And uh, Star Cats by Symptomatic Productions. So the first one is, um, is a story-rich exploration of uh, nostalgia and memories. It's uh, supposed to be a short game um, based on the description. But um, I always found, find these um, memory exploration games to be very interesting. I like how the story unfolds in games like that, so I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, this one is about. Game 523, Murray's Room. Ah, looks really good. Looks like it's a space you explore and pick up objects and learn things from them. Um, hmm. Marie's Room is a short story exploration game about an unconventional friendship between two classmates. You play as Kelsey, remembering Marie's Room as it was 20 years ago. But something's off. What happened to Marie? There's, there was nothing. I could do about the past. It was definite. It was definite as hell. Huh. It's an interesting that. It's an interesting quotation. And Kelsey has come back to a room packed up in boxes. She has one goal: get Marie's journal. When she picks it up, the memories come back because 20 years ago, Kelsey and Mary shared this room. They spend days in it working on projects, nights talking about boys, pizza, and sparkly shoes, dreaming about the future, planning their life, until that ghastly night when it was all shattered to pieces. What happened to Marie and Kelsey 20 years ago? Search Marie's room and join Kelsey in her trip down memory lane. Uh, open drawers, pick up objects, learn what Kelsey remembers, read what Mary thought about it. As you puzzle the pieces together, you uncover the secrets of their friendship. She asked me why I was so angry all the time, and I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards I had been dealt, any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead, but Murray, my friend Murray, she got me a new deck and suggested that I deal again. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder how that happened. Uh huh. They have the the devs have their own um, game studio now. That's really cool. They have the information here. Cool. Ah, it's a good small team. The credits are all listed here. Cool. Let's try it out. Race Room is a short game designed to experience in one session. No save games are supported. To finish it in one go. That's fine. Somehow their music reminds me of um, uh, Life is Strange. The first Life is Strange. And this is really cool. 
do that? Moving the mouse around gives, like, moves it back and forth like that. That's really awesome. I, I think that's really cool. And I like, um, see, some of it looks real and some of it looks hand drawn. Like the part where the journal is more prominent, the background is appearing hand drawn. And the part where it's see through, that's uh, more realistic. Still hand drawn, but like less like a sketch and more like a uh, like a full scenery. Really cool. I think I did all this already. to come back why would I after all that's happened even in here so where is the journal okay I'm gonna turn it up a little bit on the music a little bit so the ongoing sound is not as intense but we're gonna keep the voice up and maybe turn the effects a little bit down yeah that should be enough hmm. music was still sounding really high so I'm gonna turn it down a bit more. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's good. Look at how pretty this is. Look how pretty. Sure if uh, uh, game controller work. Oh, it does. Game controller works too. Oh my god. So pretty. This is going backwards, I think. It's a sunset out. I don't want to go back down. Those pictures look like they're moving. Like you're in a slow moving train. That's cool. Oh, the pictures change. Is it supposed to represent memories? <laughs> okay. Huh. I think I want to get a closer look at this game, so I'm going to get closer. There we go. That's better. Okay, it's a door to... a different... Wait, is this a whole apartment? Weather forecast, huh? I'm trying. What more than a hundred again today? Glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. Huh. What do you mean? I don't have to deal with that anymore. 
It's 2042. Oh, okay. Interesting. 20 years from now. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. Does that mean she doesn't live here? What, more than a hundred again today? Glad I don't have to deal with Does that Does it mean anymore. she's not physically here? What, more than a hundred again today? Glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. What about the right click? Right click is zoom, but I don't see how to do that in the... In the controller. Hmm. I think I'll use the mouse and keyboard then because some of the controls are not clear. Hey, Shelly. Just doing dishes and found my frying pan. Oh, yay! Good, good job, Shelly. Science Fair 2018, second place. Cool. That's a typewriter. Huh. Kleenex. Oh my god, the hair. What was I thinking? Huh. <laughs> Look, Mr. Torres. I'm happy he finally got remarried. A honeymoon in the Bahamas. Wish I was there with them. Mr. Torres, huh? Are those CDs? Ah, okay. Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. And that's probably the bedroom. No, that's her parents' room. Yeah. Oh my god, so cool. That's a big room. I want a big room like that. You've seen this game before? Where did you see this game, Shelly? Bumblebee. Hey, is that a name of a cat? Yeah, sounds like it. Oh, look, I love these things. They always add a comforting, uh, comfortable sense to the uh, to any room. Oh, I thought it was a cloth. Yeah. I like uh, I like the cloths on the wall. Especially of certain color, so when light hits it, a certain color shows up in that room. Hmm. It's a fan. Oh, it's got those uh, things on and so it, it floats when you, the fan blows. 
Markiplier, someone played it. Oh, wait, no, it was Jacksepticeye. Okay, cool, awesome. Hey, what's this? Map? She wouldn't talk to me on the phone, so what else could I do? I drove all the way up there to Vancouver, freezing my ass off in that tin can of a car. <laughs> Hey, Motsasia. How are you doing? This is in the bundle, yeah. Yeah, it's in the bundle. It's called Marie's Room. You haven't seen it in years? Ah, okay, so it's it's pretty old then. So apparently the dev company that made this game um, have their own indie studio now. Let me just uh, get their links. Uh, so... The dev is at uh, Kenny Gualame Gualame .io. The game is called Marie's Room, and they have a new, um, you have know, a new dev studio <laughs> called called the VC. Yeah, yeah. Oh, California to BC. Is that it? Oh, the orange. Orange Grove to Vancouver. Cool. Huh. Alright, that's the journal, I'm guessing. Is that a postcard? Postcard. Of course I knew it was her. Who else? There was only one thing to do. Get to Marie. <laughs> it's definitely a Vic Vancouver. That is definitely a Vancouver <laughs> postcard. That's that that's downtown Vancouver, right? Yeah. Okay. Mustacia says I plated can androids. Oh, you played can androids play pray. Yeah, that's cool. The other day, uh, what scares me, what really keeps me up at night, is that God might care. <laughs> yeah, I remember that line. Okay. Hi, Kelsey. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You are my friend, and I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you, and I stood up to him because of you. But you... I don't know. Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be all right. Marie. Except she wouldn't be. She would not be all right. Are we having a...
couldn't afford a car, and Marie didn't want one, so we rode our bikes everywhere. I thought I looked silly, and with those damn sparkly shoes, I probably did. Yeah, I was losing my glamour status at school right there. Hmm. There's nothing wrong with sparkly shoes on a bike. Swimsuit. I loved skinny dipping, but Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Really, I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool. After dark, no one would ever come close to the freak. And he wasn't there, just to be clear. But someone else was. Hmm. Hey, height measurements. That's cool. Simon Alexander. Thanks for doing the shout out, Shelly. I'm going to zoom out a bit now. Since we have a few people. Here you go. Pillow. I have a dream. She once asked me, don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, I don't. I don't dream. I plan. What I didn't tell her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans. Hmm. This has a very much um, gone home vibe to it. I need to find the key. A five-figure number. Ah, mystery. Go. Cool. Orange peels. Have you ever peeled an orange so juicy the drops erupted from underneath the skin like fireworks in the setting sun? The trees in Mr. Jones's garden had them. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit before I met Trevor. Okay, that's a search. I wore those a lot. Not to protect my eyes, but to hide them. I didn't want anyone to know. Sometimes it got so hot, this thing wasn't doing it anymore. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones's swimming pool. That night, I guess he must have seen us. Hmm. World map. Frostpunk wasn't that bad of a game. I think I have it on my list, or might I already have it on my library. But I haven't started yet. You crashed your stream a lot? Oh, okay. That sucks. Yeah, it would be um pretty heavy on a system, I think. Marie always dreamed about going to Europe. I don't think she ever went. These are all European cities, right? And yeah. and Vancouver. She has a lot of uh, vinyl. Oh, that's cool. Forever. 
What an asshole. After we broke up, he got violent mm. sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben, I think it was. He got a lot of shit for it later. Hey, for it on talk. We're good. Yeah, this game is really cool, so I'm really relaxed while I'm playing this. It's got this ongoing mystery. It reminds me of Gone Home. Mr. Torres. Thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. Hmm. So that's Marie and that's her father? That's what it sounds like. Time travel. Ooh. She wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes and stuff. I just wanted to do something simple. Calculate shit. Boring is what she said. <laughs> Her. The weird kid talked boring. So yeah, we settled on antimatter because who wants to be boring? <laughs> How are you today, Fire Don't Talk? You've been streaming again, so here's a shout out. <laughs> Think like a proton and stay positive. <laughs> That's funny. The true sign of intelligence is not knowledge, but imagination. Intelligence is the ability to adapt to change. Stephen Hawking's. Hmm, I don't know. This is a lot of writing. What is that? Oh, Neil uh, de, uh, deGrasse Tyson. Hey, what molecule is that? It's an organic molecule. Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. Ring binder. Ah, uh, yes. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. But I got over it and chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. Hmm. Have you seen this man? <laughs> yeah, I've seen him. Hmm. Elsie's phone. I thought I was so lucky. An adoring boyfriend, free burgers from the kitchen he worked in, sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take care of me, and we'd get out just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where mm. the money came from. I hovered over something. Oh, this thing? I didn't like that she kept the stone. Why did she have to be reminded? I told her I was sorry, but she said it was for me to remind me. Hmm. Okay. Incident with the stone. 
She hated my cigarettes. Every time I felt like going out and buying a pack, she made me put the money in that money jar. One day, that money would pay for our gas to drive to college. We only needed money for the one way. I ended up using it to get to Vancouver. Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. Hmm. That's odd. That you don't see her. You don't see her own reflection, but you see the background. There's no such thing as food waste. And don't I know it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose <laughs> forever. And the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that mm. hungry again. I didn't care what it took. Huh. She asked me why I was so angry all the time. And I told her because... It's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards I'd been dealt, any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie, my friend Marie, she got me a new deck and suggested I deal again. It's a nice symbolism. <laughs> Hey, it's a mixtape doormat. I'm not a shadow person. Yeah, it took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. Hmm. Ah, sparkly shoes. He had money. You see? He bought me things. I was going to wear these to the prom. Fancy, right? At the time, I didn't know where the money came from. Hmm. George's tamales. Every Tuesday, the food trucks would roll in. Me and Marie never missed Jorge's, Jorge's tamales. tamales. When I was a kid, Jorge would put some aside. Just in case my mom was too drunk to mm. feed me again. That's nice. Generous. Keys. She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. That's Trevor's phone number. He called her. I knew he blamed her for everything, though she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. Okay, let's do the other things. The more interactive ones, like, um, Notebook. La La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Glad Trevor snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. She never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. It does remind me of the of Life is Strange as well, especially like right in the oops, you like here, in the in the menu, there's like part of it is hand drawn, and I find that so cool, and that happens like as soon as you go to the menu, like in every position, like if I look around here, and go to the menu, like that gets drawn, right? Isn't that amazing? Every scene gets drawn in that, like that. Oh, I see a bottle. I see a bottle. 
It also gets drawn. <laughs> and the music. Music reminds me of Life is Strange too. I wanted to do the... La La Land. I want to do... That movie was a shit piece of crap. Glad Trevor snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. She never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. So, I just looked up the QR code. It says, well, uh, well done, you. Thank you so much for playing Marie's Room. It's a text that pops up that I can search. That's cute. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Laptop. Oh, cute. I bet that's Bumblebee. He's such a cute. Bumblebee? Oh. Oh, maybe. Maybe that's the password. Bumblebee. Um, Scan the... Oh, Mustache did as well. Uh, scan the QR code. It said, well done. Thanks for playing Maurice Room. Yeah, I just did that as well. We did it at the same time. We had the same idea. It's <laughs> cool. Bumblebee. Damn, what's the password again? I need to find I'm it. not a shadow person. There we go. Oh, cool. This is so sim also similar to um a lost phone, a normal lost phone. Kitty. Come on. Why can't I see it? Why does someone need to get hurt before we step up and act, for Christ's sake? If they had, none of this shit would have happened, and no one would have oh, died. someone died. I'm, I bet uh, her dad got the stab wound because of these incidents. Yeah, I love that game. I love it too. A normal lost phone was so intense. <clears throat> I think Shaun was the one who played it. She spent three hours on it and then we were in tears after. It was so, so, so cool. Okay, so we can't select any other emails here. Oh, okay. Just those two. And it says from Mr. Phillips. Wow, it's really small on the screen. Okay, I'm gonna go back in again and get closer because I think uh, that would be a better view for this. There we go. I don't know if it's a better view on the stream, but it's closer. Right on the talk said, uh, oh, must I have a Samira fictive from from the uh, from the game. Right on Toxic, it was exceptional. Yeah, I cried a lot at the end. So moving. Yeah. Okay, so this uh, email here says, Harassment by fellow student from Mr. Phillips. Hi, Marie. It grieves me to hear that this is how you feel, but I'm afraid there's not much I can do at this stage. I understand you are alarmed and feel unsafe, but Trevor has not broken any school laws nor has he hurt anyone i would like to invite you and trevor into my office to see if we can start up a con conversation between the two of you let me know when you are ready to talk you know where to find me ah, it's the worst this is not the way to deal with these things oh no why didn't you tell me marie no wonder you were so frightened we never should have gone to the Orange Grove. Hmm. Trevor was uh, spying on her. I wonder if this is a real email address. Mary.Torres113 at gmail.com I wonder. Hmm. Oh, 
One day, I just had to know, what's up with all the cats? She said she admired them, that they were who they were without any pretense, that they had no fear of confrontation. She wanted to be more like them. Mustacia says, I came into a normal lost phone, knowing it would change my life. It really put into perspective my self-hate. Yeah, self-hates are is, is definitely one of the accurate things that are portrayed in that game. Also loved how um, there was a connection between the player and the and the person the phone belonged to through that interaction that you could that I really like that as well. When Bumblebee went missing, Marie cried for days. She thought I couldn't hear her at night. I could never prove it, but I'm sure it was Trevor. Mm. Mm. Marie, what were you thinking? You know that's illegal. Well, at this point, when no one else helps, you know, <laughs> you have to take matters into your own hands sometimes. Oh, look at that. Look at that kitty. Look at the kitty. Look at the kitty. Just, just so, just why so cute? Why so cute? It's like a little fluff ball with paws. Hmm. What kind of computer is this? This is a Mac. It has a very much like a um, Linux thing to it as well. Hmm. Uh, Mustacia says the Samira fictive loves uh, this body and here I am trying to kill it. <laughs> yeah, that, that contradiction is so interesting. We experience something similar, not maybe not in uh, not in the same way maybe, but those kind of conflicts are common, I think. Lorraine, Marie's mom, died when she was five. My mother... She might as well have been dead. She looked more dead than alive, anyhow. Passed out on the couch, empty bottles of gin on the floor. Hmm. Or my little Marie Curie. Marie Curie. Hmm. next box broken wind oh it's the rock she was my friend and I had to tell her so I came back here throwing stones at the window but she didn't react so I threw a bigger stone and it shattered the glass she kept the stone as a souvenir to remind her not to trust me ever again hmm Ah, uh, yes. The science project. Mm. That's Marie's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy. For her pizza and movie party. All right, I might have been a little jealous. Fourth March is her birthday. Five digit. We need five digits, so that's not it. Hmm. Although there's three slices of pizza there, so it might be the third clue. Okay, 
there's nothing there. Okay, let's look at the journal now. Oh yeah, the backpack. Oh. Disgusting, but cheap. I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. The vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served by Marie. Hmm. How do you turn the pages? Oh, here. After that school article, people kept asking me why I did it. High school kids saves classmates from hunger. Huh. Uh, as if there were some, as if I were some kind of hero. So stupid. And I keep um, telling them the same story. Aren't they sick of it yet? Maybe I should publish a book, my life story, so they'll stop bugging me. Here uh, for the last time. Last fall, I caught a kid stealing someone's lunch from a backpack. As he stuffed the sandwich in his mouth, our eyes locked. He panicked, dropped the food, and ran. I never realized some of my classmates were actually hungry, so I joined Food Rescue to help. To help. Uh, there, the end. Everyone satisfied? November 21, 2017. Uh, they put me on Kelsey's team. My heart races whenever I stop to think about it. Don't think she's all that pleased, though. I wonder whether she remembers me from Food Rescue. God, I hope not. I feel so connected to her. Isn't that weird? I'd love for us to be friends. She's just amazing. Can't wait to start working on our science project. Did you get that our project i feel like i'm going to explode from excitement so this is the this is the girl from food rescue who she was like she put they put her in my science project thing in that other uh last last hope last hope hmm. December 4th, 2017. I screwed up, but I was worried. I'm still worried. And what else could I do? Kelsey's been to food rescue. Uh, hasn't been to food rescue in a while. And I just wanted to make sure she wasn't hungry or something. So I offered her my sandwich. Uh, why did I do that? Now we'll never be friends. Uh, good one, Marie. Really, really well done. She looked at me like I was crazy and walked out and now we are behind the project too. I hope we make the deadline. Oh, so Marie was the girl from Food Rescue? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Hmm. Nothing was different. January 5th, 2018. Well, just matter that's what Kelsey keeps saying and she's right but matter is also life and life is something we need to take care of uh, she likes to be out on a she likes to be out on a, a limb she says she's got nothing to lose um, bam she didn't even realize that she what she was saying or maybe I'm too sensitive Guess I'll s guess that'll show me to believe that we were friends. I guess I'm a shadow person after all. I think she's gonna break her neck by by the way. See if I care. What? Think she's gonna break her neck by the way? Huh. Loving the chemistry. <laughs> 
January 10, 2018. I love cats because they're not afraid to be difficult. Oh, it's a cat cupcake. Look at that. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, that's her birthday. It's her mom's birthday. January 19, 2018. January 28th, 2018. Oh, these get added as I'm exploring. <laughs> Beep boop. I'm trying to ignore the fact that all of Kelsey's cute stuff is paid for with Trevor's money. He's such a creep. I don't get what she sees in him. She says I'm jealous, as if. Thing is, she thinks she needs him to get away from all of this. But she doesn't. She got away from, from her mom all on her own. Kelsey's the smartest, coolest, uh, sweetest person you can imagine. She doesn't need anyone to get out. She can do that all on her own. Too bad she doesn't believe that herself yet. February 14th, huh, Valentine's. Fuck, I'm so stupid. I finally got to see La La Land. They showed it on Classic Night at the theater. I, wa I went with Ben, loved it. Kelsey was there too. I was so happy to see her. I actually frigging hugged her. She, and she pushed me away. Asked me what I thought I was doing and that Trevor asshole was enjoying the show and her stupid cheerleader friends, huh? Ah, they were in different groups. Hmm, interesting. Hair got stuck on something. <laughs> We're going to be friends. I feel out of place everywhere outside of this room. She said she was sorry, I know, but fuck, I feel I'm like I'm walking on eggshells and that's not what friendship should be, right? I feel disconnected. She did not want to be my friend. She was embarrassed. February 16, 2018. Okay, I've calmed down a bit. That Lala night she was with Trevor and he's such a fucking asshole. She's different when she's around him. Not that it makes it all right. But she did come straight over to tell me she was sorry. She knows she was wrong. Um, broke my window <laughs> with that damn rock. She said if I'd answered the call uh, of the pebble, she wouldn't have thrown the rock. She's been here um, ever since. Doesn't have anywhere else to go, really, except for Trevor. I'm glad she I'd rather sleep here. Right now, as I write this, she's uh, on the bed going over some notes from class. I like having her here, and Dad's okay with it. Hmm. March 17, 2018. Oh, those sparkly shoes. She was, she wears them all the time. Last night, the heels dug into my calf and that freaking hurt. Have you seen those heels? So I yanked them off her feet and told her not in the bed. She was amused. I can't, um, I can't think why. To be honest, I uh, wish I was a uh, size 9 because they look absolutely gorgeous on Kelsey's feet at least when I tried them on I look like little girl trying on mommy's shoes hmm March 17 2018 wait didn't we just do March 17 yeah 
Uh, the fucking swear jar. <laughs> um, you may have noticed, sweet journal, that there are less and less F words in these pages. I'm so freaking proud. Ah, only when I go berserk, like when Kelsey threw that rock through my window, <laughs> then it's hard to keep up. Did you know that a little girl used to curse? Uh, that, that as a little girl, I used to curse abundantly? Trying to extend my vocabulary here. That thought it indicated intelligence. And I guess I uh, looked cute um, up to a certain age. But he said uh, mom hated it. So every time I used the F word, he made me put a piece of candy in the swear jar. Can't tell you how much that hurt every time because I never, I never see it again. I think he secretly ate it. <laughs> he must have uh, rejoiced. Yep, vocabulary extension again. Every time I swore like a madman, madwoman. Must have. <laughs> she called me her friend today. I'm not a shadow person anymore. She's my friend. I have a dream. <laughs> All is now harmed. Huh. Kelsey is so angry at the world. Life, like all the time, it's kind of annoying, but yet it, by get it, we have a different story to tell. So as a friend, um, I did the only decent thing. I told her she could do anything she wanted. She just had to make it happen, uh, not wait for it. I told her to deal again, not drugs, the cards. <laughs> um, Kelsey broke up with Trevor, finally, April 11th. She can do so much better than that total loser. He assaulted her in the school hallway, of course. No one saw it happen, but he literally um, tore the clothes from her body. Fuck, I promised not to swear, so there you go. But she's done with him now. Uh, things can get only get better. Uh, April 13th, I think he's crazy. He keeps calling me the most impossible hours just to yell at me. Calling me names, threatening me that I don't, if I don't let Kelsey go, he'll do this or that as if I've got her tied up in here. I now unplug the phone when I go to sleep. May 19th. Today. Ah, the red numbers. The red numbers are the the key to the suitcase. Four, nine, five. Okay. So I guess we have to finish the journal to get all the numbers. Hmm. Today was a good day. Only five emails from Trevor. Only five. I hope he's finally getting it. She's not coming back. He really... Uh, holds no response, uh, me responsible for it. I can handle that if, if it keeps him away from her. When I saw him in the hallway this morning, he slid his fingers across his throat again. If he wasn't such a scary ass clown, I'd laugh, but he does scare me. I don't tell Kelsey, um, these things. She wouldn't, she would, she shouldn't worry. Okay. May 19th. Uh, 5, May 22nd, 2018. There are... These are the good times that make me forget. All my troubles seem to f so far away. Wait a minute, is that a song? <laughs> Kelsey told me... Uh, to, took me nights swimming in Mr. Jones's pool. I was scared shitless the first time, but uh, two beers and freshly pickled oranges picked oranges chill best nights ever it's a kitty 
than the kitty. Nothing was the same. June 12th, 2018. Uh, they're not listening. I've tried every authority at school. I even tried the cops, but they just uh, patted my shoulder. Poor little girl, still traumatized. Bump on the head didn't do her any good. Yes, I'm swearing again. A jar full of candy. What should I do? I wish I could tell Kelsey, but she'd go insane and get herself hurt. Or worse, go back to him. Trevor is dangerous. I know it's him, and there's nothing I can do. They ne they'd never believe me. I don't think I'll ever see Bumblebee again. I can't sit and watch. I'll have to be fearless. I found this site where you can buy guns. Uh, where you can buy guns off anyone. Uh, not that I mean mean to shoot anyone it's just i don't know what to do anymore it's for protection you know isn't that what they say anyway there was this guy who wanted to sell me this totally new nine millimeter i'm meeting him out of town somewhere a little shady i admit but with trevor lurking around i take my chances june 30th bad news there's been another Home invasion, just two blocks from here. They killed the woman this time, and the police think it's Trevor. I suppose it was him in our suppose it was him in our house. I can't wrap my head around it. It's too big, but Kelsey says it's it isn't true. That Trevor is a bastard but would never commit such violent acts. Looking at the torn t shirt, I think she might be in denial there. I like that drawing of the TV. I did it. I hope I'm not going to regret this. Did what? Okay, July 7th. We needed this beer, water, um, and oranges. I'm so... Like so many nights before Trevor. Uh, Tre um, like bef before Trevor. No, I'm not going to let him spoil my night at the pool with Kelsey. Um... He who shall not be named shall not be named. <laughs> not today. Yeah, I thought I saw something there, like a prompt. Okay, so I need to find two more, few more things. She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. Food rescue. Yeah, it was a good place to be. Until Marie showed up. I know she didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes. Worse than being hungry. Hmm. The green eatery. Green as in with fungus. Yes, I am never eating Ayurvedic lasagna <laughs> ever again. But some people must have liked Mr. Jones's cooking because he was out every night cooking his green stuff. Mr. Torres gave me my own set of keys, so I'd feel at home. I loved him for it. But every time I used those keys, I felt a pang of guilt. Hmm. Updated somewhere. Yeah, there we go. That was... We have three... Four, nine... Five. Okay, so just one more left. Four.
Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. Hmm. Mr. Torres. Thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. Mr. Torres and Marie were robbed in their own house. Not long after we met at Food Rescue. Okay. He was stabbed. Almost died. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. She was in the hospital for a while. Stitches, concussion. She still had mm. headaches, she said. Okay, so this happened way before uh, Trevor stuff. So Trevor isn't the one who stabbed him. Okay, so I think we updated it. Something here. Ah, this is new. Why do you keep writing this shit? I know there isn't much news in Orange uh, Grove, but it's been ages. Not literally, but you know. They're never gonna find them. I wish everyone would just stop. Leave us alone so I can forget the whole god-awful night. Uh, some think my dad was a hero for trying to stop them. Truth is, we never saw them coming. Uh, when that guy jumped and stabbed my dad, something snapped and I would have punched him, scratched his eyes out, I swear. I think I could have killed him, but the other one got me before I even knew there was two. I ne never saw their faces, neither did my dad, so they never caught them. if there's more in the later hmm not yet need one more number before we open the suitcase crossword oh did we look at the bottle no. Mr. Torres loved that beer. After the robbery, he only had a couple left. Apparently, they were hard to come by. Still, we decided to try a bottle once. Marie loved that label. She drew it in her journal. One. I remember that. All that happened later that night? I'm not sure. Maybe I don't want to remember. That's the final number. One. There you go. Okay, so three, four, nine, five, one. Three, four, nine, five, one. I need to find the key. A five figure number. Yay! Good work, Kelsey. <laughs> oh my god. It's a gun. The past, like the future, is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Stephen Hawkins said that. I wish it were true. But there was nothing I could do about the past. It was definite as hell. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time, and she was ruining it. So I said some things I shouldn't have. She just stood there, staring at the window. I was so annoyed. And that's when I knew she'd been right. 
Trevor. Right there in the room. He'd just come in through the open window. How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. But he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. It had been Trevor by the pool. And he'd followed us home. He said to Marie, I told you not to mess with me. But still, I didn't get it. No, it wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything, and he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. My backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Marie went for it, but Trevor was faster. He kicked her in the head. I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. I stopped, because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock, realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. Then Trevor looked at me, added with a smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I tried to explain, apologized, but she wasn't listening. She kept asking me if I'd been there with Trevor in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, that I'd enjoyed it. I screamed in frustration. No, that's not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that. Hurt her deliberately. God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, we robbed the house, and we got caught by Mr. Torres. But I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. I panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't listening. I was losing it, and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it, she screamed, told us to stop, pointed that nine millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her. She screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and... What do you think you remember is not necessarily what really happened or how others remember it. But Trevor fell back on the carpet, dead. That we all remember. Mom, where are you? Did you get the journal? I'll be down in a minute. Aunt Marie is getting a little worked up here. She threatened to smoke a cigar. In your car. Don't let her. Don't let her smoke. I love that car. She knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking, like, forever. I'll be down in a minute. Bring the journal. I regret food rescue. I regret the 
science project, I regret it all. My father could have died because of me and my inability to pick real friends. Uh, Kelsey never was who she said she was. I never really knew her. It turned out it was been, it's all been bullshit and uh, I am so stupid. I should have realized it was that, uh, realized that, that Lala night and walked away for good because someone died right in this room. I made him die. I pulled the trigger, made, uh, made a bullet pierce his head, made his uh, blood soak the carpet, drip through the cracks into the floor where it all will remain forever to bear witness to what I'm capable of. Can't stay here. Am I the same me? I don't know anymore. I have to fix this. Fix me. Away from her, I have to focus on the positives in my life and stop questioning myself. Why did she do it? Why did why did I do it? Do it? Did, did I deserve this? Am I an evil person? A killer? I shot him in the head, for Christ's sake. I could have gone for his leg. Dad calls them intrusive thoughts. I say they're the truth. I'm stronger than I look. I can do this. I will go up north to um, Uncle George, as Dad suggested. Nice and cool up there. I'll be able to think and finish high school. I'm leaving this journal here because I need a clean slate and fresh pages. I'm sorry. Dear dear diary, maybe I'll send you I'll send for you someday when all of this was over, long over and I've dealt with being a murderer. Hi Kelsey, yes I'm talking to you. I know you've been real reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how because I don't understand any of it. You were my friend and I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you. I stood up to him because of you, but you, I don't know. Right now I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be all. California has some dope wine, yeah. Phew, well, that was super cool. That was a super cool game. Thank you all for watching that one. That was really awesome. Well, I'm gonna be um, changing games in a bit. I love these kind of games where there's a story told through like snippets like that. I had a hard time reading the text, but my eyesight could be a reason for that. Um, it was pretty small for for the thing. I didn't see any um any settings to make them bigger, but let's see, maybe there is. No, there was no setting for the because it's it's a fixed thing, right? The the journal is a fixed um, image, but there won't be space if it if they grew the font. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's better when you play this game with a monitor up close than on the TV, unless you have a huge huge TV, which we don't yet. It's a medium-sized TV, I'd say, for now, nowadays standards. Okay, so that was Murray's Room, game number 523. Here's the link to the dev again. So how much is this game at the moment? Let's see.
It's, it's, it's actually there is no price on it. It must be free. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's a it's a really good game to get for free. I think really good graphics, really good voice acting, really good writing. Everything is fantastic. So you should all check this out. Even though I finished the game, you could experience it for yourself. Maybe you'll find things that I didn't find. <sighs> well, that was really cool. How long have I been streaming? Like an hour? Yeah, hour and a half. Wow. <laughs> that was a... Uh... That was uh, longer than I expected. I thought it was going to be shorter. Yeah, this game was fantastic. It was it was just one of the best. Huh. Yeah, they should make more games like this. There should be more games in general that are like this. I know they just call it a walking simulator, but it's it's way more multifaceted than that. So, yeah, we're going to take a five minute break and we'll be back with our second game. Our second game is called Satan Loves Cake. It's about Satan going out and finding cake because he ran out of cake. It's a very completely different theme from the game we played so far. <laughs> yeah, we'll be back in about five minutes with that. Yeah, it's a good time to take a break, stretch. Hydrate, chat, relax, get a snack. I'll be back in about five minutes.
I'm back. I'm gonna catch up with all the chat that you've been doing. Oh, Shelly, you f cooked your first dinner in this house. I'm glad you found, found your pans. Oh, therapy. Therapy's always nice. Probably nicer in the mornings than the evenings. Mine are usually in the evenings. Hmm, jasmine. Blossoming jasmine tea. That sounds fantastic. Hey, Dronin. It's been a while since I've had green tea. You know what I miss is that white tea we used to get, the cold white tea on our trip. That was super nice. When I, when Rifna and I were doing the cross country road trip, we used to get a lot of. Um, uh, we still occasionally stop for some wa cold uh, iced wa white tea, and those were so delicious, so relaxing. Oh, uh, it was a lemonade as well. Yeah. I like to get it done early in the day. Okay, yeah, therapy, yes, that's a good idea. Yeah, then you get to get the whole day to process it. I sometimes feel like I have to squeeze it in in between, like, the therapy and, and sleep. Shell Smiley said, I only found the frying pan. I haven't found the other pots yet. So I was able to fry the hot dog, send you a picture on Facebook. Ooh, awesome, cool. I'll take a look at it later. Alright, so we're about to start our second game. Rivna says you can use frying pan as a weapon as well. <laughs> yeah, okay, so our next game, game number 524, is called Satan Loves Cake. It's a very different pace, different theme than the first game we played. By the way, that first game was awesome. So anyone who hasn't watched it, you should play it for sure. It's free right now, I think, on... Yeah, a lot of these games recently seemed free. Not sure if that's just me or if it's like, if these are actually free. <laughs> um... So that was the game number 524. That's uh, our next game. It's by Baku. You can get it at baku.itch.io. Fire Don't Talk says, Yeah, I get more tired later in the day and I have a tendency to cancel sessions depending on mood. So doing it in the morning works out better. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Shell Smile says, Nah, I have the cast iron for the weapon. Yeah, that probably is more effective weight-wise, you know. There's an inner shit here. You know, it's like a heavy club. Wait, who are you calling Satan, Dronin? There's no Satan here. <laughs> There's Satan in the game, yeah. <laughs> Okay, Satan loves cake. <laughs> Fire Don't Talk says, uh, I killed someone in a movie with the f cast iron once. Wait, which movie is that? I don't remember if I saw that one. I'm pretty sure I've seen all your movies. I don't know which one that is. Unless I missed a movie. <laughs> Tell someone it says light tef uh, tefal pan or heavy duty cast iron as a weapon. Definitely cast iron. Who needs a gun when you can have cast iron? Yeah, it's um. I mean that's that's uh, also Rapunzel's weapon from the Disney verse. Especially uh, both in Kingdom Hearts and in uh, Disney Mirrorverse. Uh, she uses a cast iron as a melee weapon. <laughs> Fire Don't Talks, it was called How Socrates 
bought the farm. I don't remember that. <laughs> Jonan asked what kind of casting call did they put out for that role? <laughs> I love, love, love the puns. <laughs> Must I say it's like cast ironing call. <laughs> <laughs> Casting call didn't include this method of murder. Found that out later. <laughs> they should have led with that. Like, how is your swing arm? Like, swing a far frying pan on the stage and show us what you can do. Or, or more like a question: How would you use a frying pan? Show, show us how you would like to use a frying pan and based on your movements they can pick the person who has a tendency to use it as a weapon <laughs> yeah so this game is called satan loves cake since uh, some of you with the murderous intentions are gonna go to hell anyway, this game is uh, important for you. Bring Satan some cake before when on your way there. <laughs> because Satan loves cake. Um, like, uh, Satan loves cake, like a lot. But one day while watching the telly, it's a British show. It's a British uh, game. He realizes that he has run out of cake. Join Satan in a delicious quest through a bit of hell while eating as much cake as possible. Satan wields a trident that shoots electric beams that are able to transform his enemies into cake. Meet a host of enemies and bosses and eat them all. Ma made in a month and a half for a game by its cover uh, 2019, a jam about making games based on fake game carts created for the Famicase art exhibit. Okay, uh, that is interesting. Inspired by Cake Quest by Pixel Hands uh, for Famicase 2017. Roughly 30 to 90 minutes playtime, or thereabouts. <laughs> okay, let's try this out. I'm gonna use my controller for this one. So, if I don't talk, says he can't remember if we've seen it, the movie. Shelly says she definitely has not seen it. <laughs> Dronan says, I think Tika, the barmaid in Dragonlance, also used a frying pan for a while. Huh, cool. I'm glad they didn't ask because I have zero experience killing people with pants. Yeah, you you wouldn't have that experience. Rifna <laughs> says in D and D it's recognized as a weapon, a pen. I mean, a lot of things are recognized as weapons, right? In 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 D and D. Jasmine says, I love cookies, so Satan and I don't have to fight the demon death over <laughs> the sweets. That's that's good. Having this is what the important this is what's important about having diverse needs and diverse wants. Because then there's less conflicts and more people can get along. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna give a shout out to Jasmine T as well. Jasmine plays really cool RPGs. I'm hoping she's gonna continue her Chrono series at some point. That was a really... Chrono Trigger was super fun. Chrono Cross isn't as fun, but you know, continuation is nice. But Valkyria Chronicles is really cool too. There's many of them. Jasmine shares it. Uh, I share a ta uh, the taste for um, turn-based tactical RPGs with Jasmine. I love them too. Okay, the sound is really loud, so I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. 
There we go. And I'll also give a shout out to Shell Smiley. I think we missed her earlier. Baseball bat, who needs that when you have a cast iron frying pan? Gun, who needs that when you have a cast iron Dutch no, a Dutch oven? Shelly is a bit. <laughs> it's, not well it's it's not well balanced. I mean, I guess you could try using it as like an explosive if you fill it with the right things, but I doubt it's maybe a, like a smoke bomb. <laughs> In a mortar? Oh, if Rifnas is in a mortar, it might be useful. Jasmine says, I'm cooking and hanging out for now. What are you making, Jasmine? We are just talking about cooking. Are you making cake? <laughs> well, cake would be baking, not cooking. Shelly says, very well balanced. Just grabbing, <laughs> grab and throw. Huh? Okay. If you say so, Shelly, I haven't tried fighting with cookware it's some um, not it's not strategies i thought about before okay so the controls are run and jump is b which is awkward and shoot is a okay it's fine fine we'll try it out no saves found so new game there we go He's peacefully eating cake, and then he runs out of cake. <laughs> Mustache says, Jasmine tea is done. What? What's this hollow flavor on my tongue? Oh my god. Wait, I shouldn't mention him down here. <laughs> Oh my god, wait, I shouldn't mention him down here. This flavor is air? I expect to bite into a delicious little cupcake and I get air? Has it really happened? Has Satan run out of cake? He speaks in third person. This can't be. I'm the boss of hell and I deserve all the cake in the underworld. Ah, I got it. I'll just call the cake shop and have them deliver me some more. Brilliant. Come on, pick up the phone or burn in hell. Welcome to Cerberus Bakery. How may we help you? Hi, this is Satan. Oh, hey boss, what's up? Been torturing some sinners lately? Eh, you know how it is. The boss doesn't really do much of the dirty work nowadays. Anyways, that's not important. What's important right now is that I have run out of cake. Oh, okay. Would you like to order a cake? If so, you should know that. No, I would like to order all of your cakes. Please deliver them ASAP. As I was about to tell you, we'd love to make some cakes for you, but we can't deliver at the moment. The transport situation in hell is pretty dire right now. It is an emergency. It sure is. Many of the roads are blocked, all of the infrastructure barely working. Shouldn't you be aware of all this? What with being king of hell and all? No, I meant the lack of cake in my belly. Big emergency. Well, if you want cake, we'll make cake, but you'll have to come and get it yourself. The only other option is if a miracle were to happen, and I bet you don't feel like talking to the man who grants those, huh? Prepare your cakes. I will be there in five. <laughs> hey, you can interact with things here. Look. The bin is overflowing with empty cake boxes. Oh, I like the jump. It's got a... Um, inertia to it and gravity that's really cool Shell Smiley says I don't know what that sound was but it sounded like a dog freaking out or barking in the background no that was a dragon infrastructure problems in hell yep <laughs> Yee cake. Yes, I remember, Shelly. <laughs> we made a joke like years ago that if Shelly were ever given like uh, any sort of governance or some sort of leadership responsibility, she'll get distracted by cake and then 
all that responsibility will fall apart. So her enemies can just distract her with cake and then <laughs> take over. Hey, there's a TV thing here. This TV is showing an old episode of The Great Hellish Bake Off. Oh, this episode's a good one. Satan started watching for a bit. Our bakers have got two hours to produce a moist, rich, and airy chocolate layered cake. We are, of course, talking about the classic devil's food cake. That's right, Paul. What I'm really looking forward to are those layers. Of course, I'm expecting each cake to have at least nine layers. Wow, nine layers. Don't you think that's a bit too much to bake in just two hours? One layer for each circle of hell, Paul. That sounds torturous, Mary. I love it. I'm going to turn it down a bit on my side. Satan's house. The king of hell welcomes you, especially if you're bringing cake. It's sloppily written on the side. <laughs> Can't believe this is a Metroidvania. You can sit. Is this what, like, Hollow Knight? <laughs> Satan took a little break. Checkpoint set. Okay. That's Hollow Knight. <laughs> That's a nice jump. I can feel the body's weight. Yeah, it has this... Yeah, it has a very smooth physics thing going on. Especially if it's chocolate cake, then hell yeah. <laughs> okay, see you later, Fire Don't Talk. Have a good uh, breakfast. Evie PVZ, hello. How are you doing? By the way, I'm going to give a shout out to Evie. Because they're a new streamer. Well, newish streamer. <laughs> Someone's hanging. Oh, I can talk to the those demons. Eek, I hate monsters, I hate monsters. Satan, you gotta help me out here. Zap those baddies with your tridents. Electric beam. Sure, sure, you can do that. Except the attack and talk is the same button. I eat a little bit of cake, 3%. Thanks, but uh, I think I'll just stay up here for a bit longer, you know, just to be safe. I love the, the those hangy things, how they swing. You're eating breakfast now too? Which side of the world are you in? Is it morning over there? Oh, you can like point up with your weapon, that's cool. I'm used to the buttons being reversed. I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes. Okay, 15. There's a control view, but not a control um, modify, I think. Oh well, that's fine. Metroidvania! Didn't tell me which side it's at. So I'm just... Why does the mouse keep coming back to the middle? I put it aside. I don't think I can go there. Not yet. This has very clear Hollow Knight vibe. And Metroid vibe, actually. Like Metroid, um... Super Metroid. Hey Satan, are you heading into town? What a coinciding. So am I. Here's a little bit of a roadblock though, literally. The road is blocked by some capacitor blocks. What a bummer. I tried pushing them, but with my incredibly huge muscles, but they wouldn't budge. They are fam firmly pl 
planted in the ground. Maybe some really powerful electricity could overload the capacitors and make them explode? Okay, so we have to go the other way. I didn't expect this game to be so cute. Official notice, all elevators out of order. We have called for a technician, but she told us she doesn't work on Mondays. In the meantime, we have set up a portable generator next to each elevator. Give them a good jolt and they'll start right up. Sorry for the inconvenience. Sharon, head of health transport. There we go. That's the generator. I lost a health. <clears throat> Chelsea Smiley says, I mean, Lily, technically, I just ate my breakfast too, but you know, it's like 8 p.m. here. Shelly, you don't let me call it a breakfast if it's past 5 p.m. That's not fair that you get to call it a breakfast. I'm not going to listen to you anymore. Now it's going to be like... It's going to be breakfast anytime I want now. From now on. If it's the first meal, it's definitely breakfast. If it's... Even if it's the second or third meal, I might call it a second or third breakfast. So there you go. 69. We're at 69%. We're at 69 at the moment. It is. Oh, it's really early, Evie? Okay, cool. Awesome. Wonder where you're located. You don't have to tell me. Just, I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I'm always uh, fascinated to see people in my channel who are from the. Um, the eastern especially from the eastern side of um, the world so like Europe Australia those places Asia for some reason I don't expect very many um, I'm not a morning person so that's another reason why I don't expect it Okay, so Dronan says, what happens when your belly gets full? I'm not sure. I haven't found out yet. We haven't uh, got to that point yet. Uh, Shell Smiley says, it's fair because you do it at any time of day. This is the w one game I called him. This is the one time I call called it breakfast at 8 p.m. Yeah, sure. But, like, I think... Technically, break, break fast is the first meal after you wake up. So whenever that is, it's different for each person. Oops. Here we go. Warning, dangerous liquids. Be very cautious around here. <laughs> Mustache is a 69. Nice. Yeah, it lasted only for a little while, but I had to eat more cake. There was no choice there. 
course you should be cautious everywhere down here. You're in hell after all. Common sense and all that. Sharon, head of hell transport. Okay. Ooh, you can jump and shoot up. That's cool. Okay, we're at 81%. We're gonna find out soon what happens when we reach 100%. For a second, and then, 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 then. maybe I can drop the cake part. You have to believe in me. Ah, oh, it's not going there. Okay, there's one here. Ooh, 96. Ooh. Oh, there's one coming up. 99! 99! I just need a little bit more. You. 100! What do I do? What do I do? Oh no, I can't go back now. Yeah. Hmm. Isn't this going back to that place I came from? No. Use outhouse. Welcome to the outhouse. Here you can spend all of your delicious cake you've eaten to purchase upgrades. <laughs> okay. It's actually a break uh, fast if you only eat once per day. Is it actually a break fast if you only eat once a day? Asking the important questions then isn't every meal break fast? Well, it can be. But it's... Yeah, it can be. Like... I mean, if you're if you're eating after a f long fast, especially sleep, eight hours of sleep or so, or more, that would count as break fast. I mean, if you're doing um, if you're doing if you're doing Ramadan, you're breaking fast in the evening by not eating all day. That's also a break fast. <laughs> It has different names, but you know, it's still a breakfast. Welcome to the outhouse, yes. The currency used here is cake, or more accurately, the cake that's currently inside your belly. You can see how full your belly is on the top left corner of the screen. Now empty that belly of yours and you might even learn some new moves. <laughs> Costs 50%. Charge shot. Oh, with a charge shot, I can like get past the capacitors. Hold down the attack button to charge your trident, and then release for a deadly attack. Aim it downwards and use the high recoil as a double jump. <gasps> oh, it's cool. Awesome. Oops. Time it properly. 
There we go. Whoa, stop right there. Where do you think you're going? I can't let you through here. This gate is staying shut. You see, I heard rumors about a legendary beast li living in the water somewhere around here. If I open up this gate, the beast will surely escape. Imagine what havoc it might wreck in the rest of hell. Just can't let that happen. What if I defeat and eat the beast? Jesus, dude, you've got a big appetite, huh? I mean, I'm sure it's delicious. Alright, if you can manage to take down the beast and prove it, I'll open this gate and let you through here. That's the deal. You don't talk to me. I'm the king here. <laughs> you don't talk to me like that. Okay. Let's go on this side. Ah! It's the capacitor thing. There we go. Yeah, that's done. So basically what I do is like Ramadan. I don't eat all day until the evening. Yeah, I guess so. I can break these now. There we go. Now oh, I lost that cake. Hey Sharon again, sorry about this. The wire that connects to the elevator beyond this bit of water is uh, fallen in the water. We couldn't get it out so we by extension couldn't connect a generator to it. The only way past beyond here is a so-called charge jump, but you need some really powerful electricity for that. Really sorry. Oh, okay, double jump, yeah. Oops. Wrong direction. Well, that's gonna be hard. I have to point it down again after I jump. Oops. It's really hard with the controller. Yeah, but it was not a uh, long jump. hard to coordinate there's because I'm having to switch buttons a lot to go in the water. Oh, 
Okay, this is a good Metroidvania for sure. It's very interesting. Simple colors, but like really interesting. It's a fun concept. Oh, this is one of those again. Ooh, got better. No, no, no. Mm. Eh. At least there's like no limitation to how many charge shots you can do. But no. There we go. What? What is that? Was close. Uh, this is dangerous. Starts way over here. Could go elsewhere, I guess. If I can find elsewhere to go. Oops. I can't go up there. Did we go past here? Went there already. Seems like this is the only option right now. This game is harder than I expected. Mustasia says, that's something about me that makes it um, better for watching games for me. I would have given up on this game by now. Uh, I'm a little bit stubborn. I've played games that are super annoying. Really annoying gameplay. This is not annoying. This is just difficult. But um, I've played games that are just badly designed just because I want to know what happens next. I didn't even let it go. Oh, now you let it go. What's going on? Why didn't that work? There we go. 
Got the cake as well. Feeded the cattles. Which cattles? Oh, your cattles? Cool. I love seeing cattles. Post pictures on, on the pet channel on our Discord if you. If you feel up to it. Nice. No, no, ugh, come back. God Mustache says, oh yeah, I adopted all the kittens out, but my mama cat... Oh, what? Mama cat died? That's... That's really sad. I'm sorry. Oops, I forgot to charge. Damn it. I always forget about that pit. Oh, it's so close. Really? There's a pit as soon as I exit this screen. Need to be careful. Yeah, that sounds good. Rifna's making a carbonated drink. We find that when it's really hot, the carbonated drink really helps. I was just about to go. Come on. There we go. This time I got past this point with two healths instead of one. Slightly better, right? fell there. Oh, come on. You hit me. Not supposed to hit me. Okay. 
Oh my god, really? So close. These kind of games make me really stubborn. I just keep doing it until... <laughs> until we get somewhere. That is good game design. Uh, I just had to point it down. Wait, what? The control seemed really weird. My god. Apparently both analog sticks have the same effect. That confused me for a second. Ah, got both those cakes. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Did in one go, I have three lives still left. Cakes this time, though. Hmm. Making sure they don't steal each other's food is hard. <laughs> well, I guess if they have an abundance of food, maybe that'll be different. I don't know. I know dogs tend to eat until they explode, but I don't think cats do that. Cats stop at some point. <laughs> I don't know. You can't give too much food, though. So. She got hit by a car and came back to the patio. Oh. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. That's really sad. That's super sad. <sighs> Shell Smiley says I have both sliding glass doors open and Lulu's not even trying to get outside. She's laying next to me. I think she had enough of the balcony for today. I'm glad you um, had got her into that routine. Yeah, that's really sad. I hate losing pets. Oh my god. What is wrong with you, Satan? There we go. This is a... Ah. Okay, I should probably switch games soon. Even though this is very, very engaging. And I just want to keep doing it until I get that part. But... Uh, maybe another time. Oh my god, really? Couldn't make the jump? It got a lot better. I'm doing it in one try now.
There's a game I'm really looking forward to. It's in pre-purchase right now. And it's called Stray. And it's a game where you play as a cat in a dystopian future with like robots and humans and you you get you're a cat who got disconnected from from their owner or something from their humans or people and and you're trying to find them again and you have a little backpack <laughs> yeah well you have a little harness the high-tech harness of the future and you can do stuff with it i think but it's really really cool and i'm looking forward to uh playing that at some point when it comes out so this game we just looked at is called satan loves cake and if you're if you like metroidvania this is a fantastic metroidvania it's very simple yet it's you know simple to learn and difficult to master kind of game so if you're into metroidvania this is a good one i will probably try it out sometime again in the future yeah Shell Smile says, for me, losing pets is harder than losing people. I'm so sorry. Mostasia says, I could have just never seen her again. She came back to the patio in her last moments. I know. That's that's the part that's getting to me. Like, like you know, she chose... She chose to, like, go home near the end. It's at least something she came home to say she loves you and goodbye. Yeah, that game is on my... Yeah, for sure. I know I told you about it. Yeah. Yeah, Evie says that too. Yeah, a lot of people have known about it by now. It's been advertised a bit. <laughs> but it's good. I, I, I'm really looking forward to it too. I really hope that game is lives up to the hype. I know that that publisher makes really cool games. Annapurna makes really cool uh, games in general. So... I'm looking forward to it. This seems to be one of their biggest projects. Um, right, so today the game we just looked at is Satan Loves Cake. And it's by Baku. You can get it at baku.itch.io. Um, right, so I'm going to take another five minute break. Um, and we'll be back with, um, with our last game. Our last game is called, uh, Star Cat. So speaking of cats, the next game is about cats. It's called Star Cats and it's by Symptomatic Productions. So I'll, I'll see you all in about, uh, five minutes or so. Please take care of yourself, uh, stay hydrated, stretch, or do whatever you need. Get a snack, maybe, if you're hungry. Um, just, uh, we'll see you in about five minutes.
Hello, I'm back. How are y'all doing? I'm, um... Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what this cat game is about. It's a coincidence that it's, um... The next game is about cats, because we were just talking about cats. Hmm. I'm also just remembering all my pet cats from the past, because I lost a bunch of them too. And dogs, dogs too, but um, just remembering the cats. Well, I don't want to go into details, but like I've lost cats as well in various ways, so just thinking about that. I'm sorry to hear about your cat, Mostasia. Let's switch on the next one. Here we go, Star Cats. Game number 525. So, it's by Symptomatic Productions. You can get it at symptomatic.h.io. I'm not sure if this game will be a bit heavy on my system or not. When I tested it, it seemed a bit um, graphics intensive. But we'll try to lower the settings a bit to see if, um, if it helps. Uh, it's only $5 right now. Uh, so that's kind of cool. The last two games we looked at today were free. You can download them for free. Uh, including the Satan one, which has a long playability, so, you know, those of you who enjoy Metroidvania would probably uh, get a lot of many hours in through that for free. <laughs> this one is about four cats that have broken out of prison on a distant alien planet. They must steal a ship and escape before their suits run out of power. If only they could decide who should be captain. Work with and against your cohorts to become the captain, commandeer a new ship, and escape. Key features. Cooperation is a strategy, not a requirement. Make temporary allies, break promises, and watch out for backstabbers. Two to four player local multiplayer. Oh, interesting. Procedurally generated maps. Cats in both corporeal and spectral forms. Hmm. Spectral forms? Like if you if you get if you die or something. <laughs> Strategy you'll have to work together if you want to survive. Four generators need to be activated to power the ship. And you can't do it alone. At the same time, players who survive get points, so if you want to win, you'll have to get creative. Beautiful landscapes. Explore randomly generated landscapes every time you crash. Navigate distinct and vibrant biomes on your hunt for generators and gold. Tools of Disruption. Collect gold to buy items between rounds, ranging from vine traps that lock players into place to giant hammers that launch nearby players away. If you're lucky, you might be, even, uh, be able to scavenge items from around the map. Life after death. Even after you've been killed, you can still put up a fight. <laughs> Control the specter of your cat after death, sapping energy from other players and scaring them to death. Huh. Okay. I don't know if I have to have multiple players playing this, but uh, we're going to try it out anyway. Might be a short demonstration because I don't have multiplayer here available. so quiet there we go let's see each round activate all four generators to power a ship and escape the planet earn 15 crowns to win get three crowns for escaping and one for each generator you activate you only get crowns if you escape Follow pipelines to find the ship and generators. Pipes start black and turn pink once the generator they connect to is activated. To activate generators, keep the blue line in the white section until the meter fills completely. 
Board the ship once all generators are activated. Take off whenever you want. Watch your energy in the corner of your screen. There are many hazards that will drain your energy if you're not careful. I guess that's it. Let's try easy. I guess I need another player. And you can't, can't join without a controller? That's weird. I'm gonna try my Steam controller to see if it makes a difference. like my steam controller doesn't respond so maybe we won't get to check out this game see if there's a keyboard control because controls there's no keyboard control Wow, it's only Xbox. How are you gonna have local multiplayer if you're... I did the tutorial already. So I'll need multiple Xbox controller and multiple players. Yeah, I don't think I can play this one. I wonder if the custom mode has like a CPU option. Let me just check that. No, there's no option to... I guess there's... See if there's a start button that does anything. Oh, let's check the controls. Maybe there is a start game option. Uh, no. You have to have multiple players and with Xbox controllers. 
Okay, so that's a very short demo. <laughs> uh, we can look at the trailer of it. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I bet it's really fun. Um, but yeah, we have no way of trying it at the moment. Okay, well that was a short demo. <laughs> but if you want to check it out, it's $5 at symptomatic.h.io. You need at least two Xbox 360 controllers or Xbox One controller connected to your PC to play this. It says two to four. Um, it says two to four players. Local multiplayer. That's the only option. Um, maybe they have a different version elsewhere that has more options, but this version only has this. So, yeah. That was our last game of today's session. No, oh, that was cool. We had a lot of good conversations. So that was fun. Thank you all for joining. That was, uh, it's always nice to chat with you all. And it's always nice to, uh, catch up and talk about games and, and other. Yeah, well, sorry, I got distracted by what the other people are playing right now. I should, uh, raid somebody. Let's see. There's a whole bunch of options at the moment. Whole bunch of options. Mm. Who do I pick? Okay. Yeah. Quite a lot of people to pick from. Well, before we go there, today we looked at Murray's Room by Kenny Gulliam, Gull Satan Loves Cake by Baku, and Starcast by Symptomatic Productions. The music on this stream is by Andrew Sitkov, and the uh, sounds are by Shapeforms. The art of the TV, my avatar, and some of my emojis are by Rifna. Rifna has been working on some animated GIFs recently as well, which are really cool. If you want to check out more of Rifna's art, there's their Redbubble, Twitter, and Pinterest. And if you want to check out the three games we looked at today, I'm pasting the, their, uh, the link to their devs in the chat. So you can click on them directly. We'll be doing a raid soon. That's our raid message. Hearts of Light and Shadow shift the balance in your favor. You can use any emojis you want around them. So, my next stream for Indie is on Wednesday. So, three more games from the bundle. But um, tomorrow, if I have the energy, I will come back with um, with the retro stream, which I haven't done in a while. So, I'll try out some retro games tomorrow if I have the energy in the evening. Um, otherwise, my next scheduled one is on Wednesday, the 13th of July. I'm also playing a story game on Fridays. Right now it's Techno Babylon. 
Techno Babylon is fantastic. Uh, I've only played, had two sessions so far, and it's really, really interesting. We have three playable characters, and it's a cyberpunk noir. Um, one of the characters is a trans woman, which is really awesome. One of the playable characters. I didn't realize she was playable until um, until we got to the second session. And uh, this Friday, we're going to be picking up uh, her part of the game. We'll see what happens with that. She's really interesting. I think she's, yeah. It's her, um... Yeah, I thought she was interesting right from the start, but I didn't... Like, there's like more layers that got added, so looking forward to that. So that's our Friday session. Um, so we're gonna be raiding... Uh, let's raid uh, Sir Galloway. I haven't raided Sir Galloway in a long time. He's playing Kirby on the Forgotten Land, which is a super pleasant game. Uh, so let's go check that out. Alright, so again, my raid message is Hearts of Light and Shadow, shift the balance in your favor. Let's paste it in the chat once we head over there. I hope you all have a really good evening or day. Because some of you it's morning <laughs> uh, and um, I'll see you either on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday or Friday or whenever you want to come back have um, good uh, have a good oh I'm gonna use these images have a good rest of your day have a good um, have good rest stay hydrated stay balanced I'll see you next time. Bye.